Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Um, I said when I was recording the Crew Republic um, double IPA that that was my beer, of, the end beer of my night. Uh, but I lied because I was in the mood for another one. And today we're going all the way over to Japan for my second um, Hitachino Nest review. And today we have got a bottle of the Real Ginger Ale. Absolutely love that artwork. I love Hitachino Nest's logo. I'd love either a t-shirt with just a big logo of that on, or maybe some glassware, because I know Rampant Lion Beer Reviews has got um, sort of like a pint glass of that, with that logo on. But um, yeah, it, it just looks cool. There's something about Japanese culture when it comes to little illustrations, little characters. Um, I've got like a little graph design book back at, back in England of like just... <clears throat> it like collects photos of like um, signposts. And like even the fire departments in Japan have let their own little mascots. It's just, I love that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, looks fantastic. So yeah, it's a, it's a beer brewed with ginger, or an ale brewed with ginger. And ingredients are malted barley, ginger. And uh, yeah, that's what it says really. I'm not too sure what hops would be used in this. But the beer is something of a heavy hitter, clocking in at 8% ABV. And uh, yeah, this is my second review of a Hitachino Nest beer. The only other one I had was their, um, their coffee, no, their espresso stout, which was absolutely fantastic. I did that for my 100th review. But yeah, I was just in Beretta returning bottles today. And... Um, I've been wanting to pick up a new glass, so I picked up a new glass and I thought, you know what, I'll pick up a beer as well. And uh, yeah, I'd seen this one um, on the uh, Beer Lager website because we were going to go there in Cologne, but Cologne's such a chaotic little city and we just couldn't be bothered. And uh, this was one of the beers that I wanted to pick up, but Beretta had it. So um, yeah, 8% beer, ale brewed with ginger. I do like ginger ales, you know non-alcoholic and alcoholic but some nice alcoholic ones and yes I even like Krabby's um, alcoholic ginger beer so I'm looking forward to see how this one turns out just how um, how well incorporated and how well that ginger comes out with it um, but yeah beer in a glass and that's a nice deep dark brown slight reddish hues to it uh, a slight oranginess as well. Beer poured with one finger's worth of slightly brown tan coloured head. And uh, in terms of carbonation, uh, there's small amounts. It looks a bit more reddy oranger now, actually, than I've got up to proper light. Um, it's got some haze in there, but you can in the light see through it. But it looks really damn good. I just love how vibrant it looks. For such a, a deep colour, it's got a real sense of vibrancy to it. So, let's see if we can pick anything up on the aroma. Well, I'm picking up a cinnamon there. Maybe a slight bit of ginger. Um, you're not really picking it up too much on the aroma, it has to be said. But it's definitely there. Um, I think they've used uh, ginger, like a root of ginger in the boil for this beer. But it's got like this cinnamony, nutmeg, sort of spiced, slightly sweet character to it. A little bit cakey. But yeah, you do pick up that ginger, like a ginger cake, you know, like a ginger loaf, that sort of thing. It smells nice though. Even though I was expecting a little bit more pronounced ginger on the aroma. Anyway, let's see how it tastes. Cheers. You pick up that ginger. It's definitely there. But it's not as punchy or vibrant as I was as expecting it to be but that being said 
this is actually a really nice and intriguing taste in beer so far. Quite cakey, actually. Again, picked up a cinnamon on that flavour. Um, there's like an earthiness to it, which I'm going to attribute to the um, the ginger. But compare this, I mean, this is terrible comparing it to something like Krabby's or some of the other ones you can pick up from the supermarket. That sort of ginger, it's like really quite out there. Albeit, most of the time, that's like a really synthetic ginger flavour. This actually has the ginger and it tastes like real ginger. But I don't know, for me personally, it could be a little bit more. Like you can get these like um, natural like ginger ales, like Jamaican ginger ales, that sort of thing. And you pick it up and you can tell that it's there, it's a bit more earthy, it's a bit more pronounced, it's got like a freshness about it. Here, the ginger is there. But it seems to be buried within the actual beer itself. And in terms of just a beer, it's got a really nice malt character to it. Really nice body to it. It's rich. It's inviting. Like I was saying, you get a slight like ginger cake there as well. It's definitely spicy. It's got like, you can pick a bit of allspice in there. And like a nice spicy dense sponge cake that's what I'm primarily getting in my head as I'm drinking this beer maybe a slight boozy note from that 8% ABV but nothing offensive on the palate and to be honest 8% ABV it doesn't taste like that it's a lot more drinkable it's got such a I don't know it's not the most flavoursome of beers, but it's got strong flavours. And it's got a sense of density to it. But at the same time, the body isn't too heavy. So it's like this weird... The body's, I'm, I'd say, on the bigger side of medium. But the flavour is really quite dense. And I've got to say, that's a really damn good beer. Um, <clears throat> In terms of a, a ginger ale, I wouldn't put it up there. I mean, this tastes a damn sight better than stuff like Krabby's and some of the other commercial, you know, bigger um, ginger ales, alcoholic ginger ales. It's definitely a bit more mature. And it's definitely not what I was expecting it to be. So... There's a tiny bit of disappointment in there, but at the same time, what is in there more than makes up for it, and it is a damn good little brew. So it's definitely an easy 8 out of 10 from me. This would be absolutely perfect for autumn. If you're getting bored of drinking pumpkin ales and pumpkin spiced beers, that sort of thing, this is the perfect antidote to that. It really, da really is. Really damn is. That's not a proper sentence. But yeah, I actually really enjoyed that. Um, if I could find it a little bit cheaper than what I paid for it, I'd probably pick it up again in a heartbeat. And I'm sure, you know, if you go to different places, they'll charge different amounts for it. So for the right price, this is perfect autumn drink. Perfect for, like, Halloween uh, to go with your pumpkin ales. Or, like I said, perfect if you're getting bored of these pumpkin ales and you want something new, then this is definitely, definitely one to go for. I've only tried two beers from Hitchino Ness so far, and they've been very intriguing in their own way. So, you know, I'm more than happy to try some more of their beers. I know uh, their White Ale is readily available now in most supermarkets back in the UK. Or some of the, like, more Marks and Spencers, Tesco's type places. And, uh, yeah, a really nice beer it's just i was expecting a little bit more ginger character to it but the ale itself spot on really nice beer eight out of ten so if you've tried this beer let me know your thoughts opinions what have i missed out on it was the ginger a bit more pronounced on your um tasting i guess this could be one of the things that tastes different from batch to batch and even potentially from bottle to bottle 
high quality beer i'm not going to complain about that at all just wish there was a bit more ginger to it and like when you've got fresh piece of ginger and you can smell it and it's got this really nice kick to it it's just lacking a little bit of a kick i'd say but yeah if you like spiced beers vegetable beers then you know definitely give this one a try so now i've waffled on way too long thank you guys for watching uh check out my hitchchino nest playlist down below even though this is the only second beer that i've done of those uh, like I said, if you've tried this song, then your thoughts, opinions. What's some of your favourite ginger-infused beers as well? It'd be interesting to find out a bit more. And uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram, Twitter if you feel like it. Um, hope you'll join me for the next beer review. And of course, I hope you'll subscribe for more beer reviews. Thank you guys for watching. And this is definitely the last beer of the night. I promise. Cheers.